So, geocaching is sort of like a treasure hunt. And what people do is they will take a little container. It can be a container that's itty bitty uh, and only big enough to hold a piece of paper, basically. Or it can be like a big box. They'll go out somewhere in public, hide it. They'll take the GPS coordinates of it. Then they go online to geocaching.com and they make a profile page for this hidden treasure. And when it's posted then, anybody who accesses the website can look up, find the listing for it, and then try to go find it themselves. So people have fun planting these things, hiding them, and people have fun finding them. And you, um, when you find one, you go back onto the website and you log it. And you say, I was here, basically. And um, that's how it works. How did I first get introduced to geocaching? Well, um, I had just started seeing a lady. And... Um, and she, after, I don't know, probably about a week or something, she, uh, she said, I'm sort of into this thing. And some people think it's kind of strange. And I was like, okay, what are we getting into here? Uh, and uh, she's like, you, you do it in public and it's secret and, and you don't want anybody to catch you doing it. And I was like, uh, yeah, okay, like seriously, what is, what is this? And it turned out to be geocaching. It's an excuse to go act really sneaky in public without actually doing anything bad, <laughs> which, is, which is always fun. It's like being a goonie, you know? It's like being one of the goonies and uh, running around and, and not really getting into trouble, uh, but having fun. Not everybody knows about geocaching, of course, and those people who don't know about it are referred to as muggles. Come on, muggles. Go away. And uh, the, the idea when you are geocaching is to try to be as discreet as possible uh, because when people find out about these things, you know, sometimes... Uh, if, if they see someone acting suspicious, you know, because when you're searching for something, you, you, you stick out. You just, you stick out really badly. Uh, and people go, what is going on? Um, if they, sometimes, some people will find a geocache and they'll trash it, they'll throw it out. Uh, in that case, it's, it's called getting muggled. Um, so part of the fun is sort of, you know, being a ninja about these things, you know, you've got to uh, got to have your wits about you, a spider's wit about you, you know, you've got to see where are the muggles on my web and are they paying attention right now and wait for them to go on by. And when you meet other geocachers, uh, you know, they like to share stories uh, about about the strange containers and, you know, that they found and it's part of the fun. Ah, here's a trackable. Right here. So when you find one of these, they um, you go online and you input this code here, and then uh, the idea is that you take this with you and leave it at another cache. I have this one that I want to send on its way. So. Uh, here we go. Give it a. Mwah. I have planted a geocache. I've planted one, and I plan on planting a, another one today. Um, so I'm hoping that we might. Uh, I mean, I might let you in on this. I mean, if you're, if you're okay with that, if you.
Bray is a uh, fantastic location for geocaching, uh, partly because it's, uh, it's where Europe's first geocache was placed, uh, just along the cliff walk. Um, and in that sense, I mean, that's a big deal because if you, when you look at the map of the world and when you look at the map of Europe from the site, and it shows you where all the geocaches are, now Europe is completely covered in them. And so to have the first one here just down the road, you know, you go down the beach and there it is, um, that's pretty amazing. So, uh, so Bray is fantastic. It's a fantastic place for geocaching. You've got, you've got access to, you know, walks Bray Head, the cliff walks. You can go, uh, you can go around town. You've got Dublin close by. Um, so they're urban, rural, um, suburban uh, opportunities to find these things all around. It's, it's a fantastic location for this hobby.